Fridge is looking a little bare in terms of things that I can actually put in my coffee. Um, so I think I'm gonna use this heavy cream that says it's not expired till later this month. Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, January 5th, and this is going to be a prep for the new semester with me as I get ready for the spring 2024 semester. I am back in the classroom this semester teaching. I was on fellowship in the fall. So Pirelli, she just tried to bite my sleeve. Oh my goodness. She has missed me and needed attention, but I'm going to be back in the classroom this spring. I was on fellowship and I didn't teach last fall but I'm excited to be back. So there are quite a few things I need to do, the first of which is take down all my lovely Christmas decor. I need to restock my fridge with groceries to make meals for the week. I need to just do a lot of like glow up prep. I'm getting my hair cut on Tuesday, but I really just wanna do like a deep conditioning hair mask, dermaplaning, pluck my eyebrows, do some teeth whitening, just like all that stuff so you like feel good going into the new year. And I have a therapy call this afternoon. So we're really just like checking all the boxes of like physical, emotional, mental health, all of that. So let's get the day started. Before I go grocery shopping, I'm going to put my comforter and my sheets in the wash. When I came home, my comforter was just like filled with cat hair. Pirelli was laying like all right here for two weeks, basically. We unfortunately don't take Pirelli with us, Megan and I, when we travel to our respective families' homes because Megan has a dog and a cat at her family's house. And I have two cats at my family's house. And while Megan drives, Pirelli hates the car and I fly and I think the process of putting Pirelli on an airplane would traumatize her so deeply that it's just not worth it. So we have a couple of friends or sometimes our neighbors will come and play with her for chunks of time throughout the day, feed her, change her litter, and I'm just like really grateful we have friends in town who are able to do that for us. She was so excited when I came back last night. She never does like the little like tail shake thing. But when I walked through the door last night, she just like ran up to me and her tail was shaking. And she was like a dog. Uh, I love her so much. Okay, quickly washed my face, threw in some dry shampoo, and got dressed. Just wearing these Abercrombie jeans. I love the 90s straight relaxed, I think is what they're called. They just are so comfy and I feel like... A timeless style. This is a black long sleeve that I got from Aritzia that I showed in my last vlog. I feel so cool for owning something from Aritzia. It's like really, really soft and comfy. And these black boots that I've had from Target for quite a while. And I'm obviously gonna throw a coat on over this because I think it's like 30 degrees. Okay, it is 11.24, I'm back from Kroger. I think I beat the back to Bloomington rush by going first thing today. I feel like it's gonna really get crowded later today and especially tomorrow. These are just tips if you live in a college town. Don't go grocery shopping Saturday or Sunday, especially in the evenings after a long break. Anyway, the meals I'm gonna make for this week are just some classic Sarah and Megan dishes. Gonna do a veggie pizza where we roll out the dough, put some like onions, tomatoes, spinach, pepper on top. And then I'm also doing a Mediterranean bowl. We're trying a new little apricot tofu, sort of like green bean and rice bowl. Looks really simple and really yummy. And the last one is just gonna be like classic we call it a depression meal because we saw that on tiktok one time where you basically heat up a bunch of stuff from trader joe's and it's like fried rice orange chicken stuff like that so i got all of this for just under 100 bucks which is more than i normally spend on groceries but that's okay because there was a lot of like restocks of essentials like milk butter so i got some cheese we had mozzarella but it was moldy so we had to get some new mozzarella some tofu when i picked up this tofu there was a girl and her mom in front of me getting like no lie like 50 packs of tofu and i really just want to know what they're making butter pizza dough this pizza dough from kroger is so easy and honestly really yummy two things of yogurt one vanilla one with some berries in it i think i'm gonna eat one right now this orange chicken milk <laughs> break for sneezing from prelly um coffee creamer chickpeas go in the mediterranean bowl this is 
the strawberry lemon flavor of poppy fun fact this was actually the first one i tried and i didn't love it but i'm giving it a second try because megan's sister said this is her favorite i think i did, did love it because when i drank it the first time it hurt my stomach but that's like because i was in a different era of nausea and stomach pain so giving it a second go and then just got the box of this because it was a better deal this is my favorite flavor some more just like white bread, hummus, cauliflower, some green beans. These are green onions, a sweet potato, two types of onions, a cucumber. The English cucumbers are so much better than just like the regular old cucumbers. My mom uses the regular old cucumbers. And when I was home for break, I was like, mom, what are you doing? Get these. The skin is just thinner. They're just, they're just better. Trust me. The apricot preserves. I thought we had some, which is kind of like why I chose that dish. But when I looked in the fridge, we did not. So no idea what happened to those. They probably like expired. Pita bread, rice, couscous, chives, a zucchini, spinach, tomatoes, feta. Feta is normally really expensive and I always get annoyed buying it, but it was like $3 off today. So that's a slay. And then the last thing are these pink flowers. I think that it'll be nice to have some flowers on the table. When I take down all my Christmas stuff, you know, some color, they're giving spring, they're giving just like cute. Okay, so far I have all of this Christmas stuff down. I just have to take like the bigger garlands and the tree down. And I unloaded the dishwasher, reloaded it, and I'm trying to decide what I wanna do with my next hour before therapy. I honestly might just sit here and work on this puzzle. I wanted to get this done before I left for Christmas break, but I didn't. I know taking down the tree will only take like 20 minutes tops, but I don't know. I kind of feel like just chilling out a little bit before therapy. I also might put on Pitch Perfect because that's what I was watching on the plane and I didn't finish it. And I've seen it before, but I'm like, let me finish it. So maybe Pitch Perfect and Puzzle. Okay, it is 2.30. Therapy is done. I thought that it was going to be a little bit easier than it was, but I'm feeling like a little bit like drained honestly like a little bit sad um and i don't always feel that way after therapy sometimes after therapy i feel like really refreshed and like i have like the much needed next steps like my anxiety is calmed but um i use this therapy session to just like process some things so i feel like i'm like processing so i don't feel like going downstairs and packing up the christmas stuff quite yet i just want to like sit for a little bit longer so I think I'm gonna tinker around a bit on Notion and try and make like a spring schedule. This is going to be a little bit challenging because I don't have all the information I need. I am working at the Writing Center this semester and I don't quite have my schedule yet, but it doesn't open until the second week of the semester. So we typically use this first week to like finalize all the details of the schedules anyway. So just gonna try and leave like some reasonable plugs where I think that my hours will be. I just got an email. What are the chances that this is my schedule? It's not. It is an extension. Oh, that was an extension for something I'm applying to, but it's not. It's some conference that I'm not applying to or going to. Okay, let's tinker around a notion. Okay, I messed around for like 30 minutes and I decided that I actually don't want to go with Notion. So I really like Notion. Notion got through, got me through so much of my comprehensive exam prep and honestly a lot of my prospectus and even like starting the disc, but I just don't really find myself using Notion that much anymore. I think it would if I had like a set template, I could buy one, but I don't really feel like spending money on that right now. So I'm just going back to basics, baby, and I'm using the good old calendar, like the Apple calendar, iCalendar, whatever it is, iCloud calendar that syncs my phone with my computer. And my sister got a new Apple watch for Christmas, so I got her old Apple watch. So now I have like a whole Apple ecosystem. And yeah, I'm like, let me just like stick with what I know. I have found myself using the calendar on my phone more and more recently just because it's so convenient and my phone is always in my hand and so that's what we're going with. I don't... Pirelli? She's sneezing? 
She's crawled under the blanket that I have on my lap right now and started sneezing. But here is what we have for the calendar. So far, I just made three new categories of writing tutorial services, WITS, the Writing Center, teaching, dissertation. I was accidentally putting stuff in family and my family was getting notifications. I'm so sorry. I clearly don't know how to work technology. Um, so here are the two sections that I'm teaching. I'm teaching every Monday and Wednesday, one at 9.45, one at 11.30. I will talk all about the class I'm teaching tomorrow as I do more class prep stuff. And I like how you could set a notification to like leave. Like I turned on a notification, notify me 30 minutes. That's going to take 30 minutes travel time because I have to like park and walk and all that stuff. And five min notify me five minutes before I have to leave. And then I have my dissertation writing group Tuesday mornings. And then this is just some time that I'm setting aside for myself to work with dissertation every Thursday and Friday morning. This isn't set in stone yet and all this stuff isn't on here yet because I don't know my writing center schedule, like when I'll actually be tutoring. So these things could get moved around, but ideally I would tutor like Wednesday and Monday. So then like Tuesday, Thursday, Friday could just be disc days. I'll probably also have like a standing meeting with my advisor, probably like every Friday afternoon or something that I could plug in there. But this is the bare bones. And this is why I'm going with iCal this semester. Okay, I'm about to take down the Christmas tree, but I'm gonna motivate myself with the strawberry lemonade poppy. I'm gonna give it a try live on camera. So exciting. Okay, cheers. You see, it's just like, They almost had it. I can't explain what is slightly off about this, but it's almost there. It needs more strawberry, less lemon. You see the ratio on the cherry limeade is perfect, but they need to take that same ratio and put it from the strawberry lemonade. Put the lemonade way down and the strawberry way up. I don't need to buy it again. Like I'll finish the can, but it's just not gonna be in the rotation for me. Sorry, Molly, Megan's sister, it's just, it's not doing it for me. Christmas tree is down, puzzle table is still out because we're still grinding. I barely made any progress today. I was so tired, like, couldn't think. And put the shelf back there. I want to get, like, a little spring something to put there. I have, like, some oranges, like, they're fake oranges, like a fake plant, but they're really summery. Um, we also got a clicker for the Christmas tree, so I just plugged the clicker into this light so we could just turn it on from a remote while sitting on the couch. And I took down the Christmas stuff there. While the tree was there, this bookshelf was over here, so I moved that back, vacuumed the rug, have these things in the bin. Just feels nice to have it, like, I don't know less cluttered I love like the maximalism of Christmas but it's also like refreshing when it's like okay just a vase on the table and still have some laundry going okay time to make the bed ta-da okay it is a little after six o'clock I got my room all picked up I'm almost done with laundry I'm doing my last load now and I got like my suitcase all unpacked. I feel really good about all of that. And I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm going to do the apricot tofu green bean recipe. This is a new recipe for me, so hopefully it's good. But it looks pretty easy. Um, and it sounds good. So we're gonna go for it tonight. Tofu is pretty good. It's like a sweet and savory combination going on at once. And I think this is going to be an easy little simple dinner. I'm going to finish watching the rest of Real Housewives of Miami on the TV and start winding down for the night. Saturday. 
One of my goals for this new year and this new semester, also disregard the mess behind me, I really need to clean up the office space, but project for another time. Um, so one of my goals this new year and new semester is to wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. And I'm gonna wake up at 7.30, which is truly not crazy. If you would have told like my 21 year old self that she would think that that was absurd but i just feel like having that routine even on weekends will be helpful obviously i'm not gonna like stick to this if i go to bed really late but relatively i have like a pretty consistent life i don't really go out much so i think that this is feasible that being said i woke up at 7 30 today and i went downstairs just had a nice sort of slow morning reading my book for fun i'm reading the bear town series bear town was one of the best books that i've ever read in my entire life Huge content warnings for a lot of different things, but oh my gosh, beautiful writing, insane character development. I am like truly blown away and I'm reading the second book in that series now, Us Against You. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I always like forget the title. I always think it's like Us Against Them or whatever. Um, it's off to a slow start, but I'm enjoying it so far. And I also went ahead and got started on some of the tasks that I want to get done today, which is school stuff. So yesterday was like getting my life together in terms of my house. That was like an easy way to like ease back into a routine because I was quickly checking off boxes, but they didn't take like a lot of like mental power, you know? And today we are going into the tasks that take more brain power. So I started off by setting up some canvas pages and I'm finishing that up now. So Canvas is like the learning management system that IU uses. Some schools use like Blackboard, but I think everyone pretty much knows what Canvas is at this point. And I am teaching two sections of freshman writing, but it's a digital literacy course. And it's a course that I taught last spring and I really enjoyed teaching it. And I think students really enjoyed it as well. So I'm excited that I have the opportunity to teach it again. It's called Like, Comment, Subscribe, the role of social media influencers and students choose a social media niche and do a bunch of rhetorical analyses and digital creations based on their interests and of course we're like meeting learning objectives and learning how to write learning how to write online learning how to make cool stuff with digital technologies so i'm just copying over my canvas site from last spring and changing some dates on the syllabus i'm not making any major changes to the course and I'm really aiming to put like 90% of my school energy into writing the dissertation this semester instead of focusing so much on teaching. Last year I taught this course for the first time and then immediately after in the first eight weeks of summer I taught another new course for the first time, a 200 level rhetoric course, and I spent so much time teaching and I love teaching and I'm like really grateful I had those opportunities to teach these self-design courses but Oh my lanza, my progress on my dissertation really suffered as a result. So, grateful that I'm teaching this course, which I already have all the materials, all the lesson plans for. We are going to do what needs to get done and focus on the dissertation, because that's what has to get done this semester. Okay, it is 2.30. All of the teaching stuff I wanted to get done for the day is officially done. It took a little bit longer than I thought that it would just because, of course, can't my eyes, like, irritated. I blame Pirelli. <laughs> anyway, it took a, bit, a little bit longer than I thought it would just because Canvas always, like, updates. And so it wanted me to, like, set up my course using something that just, like, made it more complicated. I just wanted to copy over my course. Anyway, got it all figured out and I made a cute little graphic for the homepage. This is a graphic. I feel like it is cute, simple, encapsulates the vibe of the course, and it's just like a stock image off Adobe Express and I just put the text here. And that's what we're working with. Eating some leftovers from last night for lunch and gonna watch something on TV. Okay, it's much later now, like seven o'clock. I just woke up from a nap. I was reading on the couch after lunch and I was like, it's just, it's nap time. So took a nap for like an hour and then FaceTime my nephew. I don't know, just sort of started winding down. I didn't get any work done on any of the last fellowship applications, which are all due like next week or any of the dissertation chapter edits, which I need to just finish up and get it done with. But 
that's okay because I can work on it tomorrow. Um, I was sort of using tomorrow as like a spillover day anyway for that type of stuff. But my eyes are like really irritated. I need to take like another allergy pill or something. I am like really congested. Pizza for Din. Hi, what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I do a tall, hot, white mocha latte with an extra shot of espresso? Thank you. A little veggie scrambled egg with the leftover cut up veggies and spinach from the pizza that we made. And then these Trader Joe's sort of frozen hash browns. I feel like these had their era on like YouTube and everything, but I don't know if I ever tried them. So let's give it a go. Hello, happy Sunday. Today is going to be resetting and prepping myself and my body. So I'm going to start off with a little everything shower. Really need to pluck my eyebrows, wash my hair, do a blowout, do a mask, get some of these pimples under control. You know, all of the beauty maintenance things. Okay, somehow it's already almost four o'clock. I finished my hair. I did a quick little Target pickup and check the mail, which was long overdue. And now I'm just gonna like sift through my closet really quickly and anything that like sticks out to me that I'm like, I haven't worn this in a really long time. If it's like a fall piece, I'm like, I didn't wear it all fall. I'm just gonna try to sell it to Play-Dohs or donate it. I watched a vlog this morning from, what is her name? Becca Watson. Her vlogs are like so well edited. They're like art pieces but that's something she did in her sort of like new year's reset and i was like you know it's time i feel like i do this quite often so let's pick up some pieces was able to find a lot more than i thought i would filled up that entire tote bag from my t-shirt drawer in my closet alone 7 20 now i feel good because i sat down and did like two hours of work that i need to do it's a lot of just like really simple checking boxes type things like i have a lot of materials already written that i need to like copy and paste into the system and submit and i was making like little tweaks here and there for this fellowship application and then i also just like made a list like a written out list of all that i need to do to finish this fellowship application and i just feel really good knowing that i have a list the system like the online portal website is like really clunky and hard to use so that's why like i have to like go through it and make myself like a cheat sheet of what it is that they're actually looking for but i'm gonna go downstairs and get started on some dinner i think megan is actually already making something so let's see what she's getting up to she will not stop like literally screaming at us what's wrong pirelli here's our dinner good old mediterranean bowls it's time for a little vision board moment last year megan and i both had our laptops on this couch we put together a bunch of images and made it our, mine's still my screensaver on my computer. And it's time to do it again. Here is the vision board. We are gonna do some traveling, trying to get back to Wyoming, Michigan. I didn't get there this past summer, but I will get there this summer. Some writing, the digital planning, also need to use my iPad more. I really want to find some more thrifted goodies. So I have this thrifted purse, this cool little watch. Then some quotes that I really like. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. Find the light in everything. This just says body, mind, soul. Reading, journaling. You know, there's the vibes. Okay, have my outfit picked out for tomorrow. And my backpack all packed. I feel a little bit nervous going into tomorrow, but it's literally just going over the syllabus. So everything's fine. I'm just like, I haven't gone up in front of a class of students in person in a year and this is nerve wracking. And I saw a TikTok today that was like, we don't talk about um, how being a professor is basically a form of public speaking. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we need to talk about that more. But I'm gonna get ready for bed, brush my teeth, wash my face, read my book and start a new vlog in the morning for the first week of classes. So. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and keep an eye out for the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for keeping up with this journey, 
and can't wait to see what the new semester brings.